Seems like a bad system that if a character disagrees with someone, they are useless. Uh, it needs to be explained a bit better. Like, what are actually are the downsides? Do you just get negative events? Because I'm not entirely clear on that one myself. Right, that's not the right place. What I meant to do was click on you. Send you to base, first of all. You are being switched out for the wife. Congratulations. You are being fired. Congratulations. Court. We are not making Marteng the Chancellor. It does, in fact, say right there. See, Zen Zhang, Zen Yan would be perfectly happy. Uh, he is currently a general. He would basically outrank Marteng at that point. This is the guy who has not leveled up once, despite the fact he's been with us for, since the start of the game. I don't get why this guy is just not leveling up. Lu Meng would be the other choice. Lu Meng would be a better choice, actually, as Chancellor. I think we'll make that decision next turn. Alright, so you need to start re Actually, we haven't started recruiting yet. Does that mean I can bring in... No, because he needs to finish his work, first of all. Cool. Right, city. We have the courthouse. Let's get the magistrate for even more money. It'll cost us two grand. Any reason not to do this? Uh, recruitment costs, potentially. The other thing is, we could actually bring in one of the other guys to join you. Like Sun Shao. Oh no, you don't like them. <laughs> nobody. Nobody gets on with Marteng. Like, literally nobody gets on with Marteng. Marteng really has caused more problems than he solved the since I hired him. Join with us. You want to invite Tao Ying. This is the one I tried to reject last time. Cao Cao would say no anyway. I'm with Cao Cao! Cao Cao is entirely trustworthy. We would not be your enemy. Yuan Shu wants to pay me for a non-aggression pact, and you want my stone monkey. Mm, that's kind of a powerful ability, to be honest. I'm going to reject that one. Sorry. As you wish. Not giving away my stone monkey. The first rule in diplomacy is to know who you are dealing with. Each warlord approaches diplomacy differently. Some are more skilled in it. Some are more trustworthy. And some will even turn on you if they sense weakness. Faction destroyed. Yellow Turban Rebellion. Crikey. This faction is no more, leaving one less warrior on the battlefield of history. They may be remembered, or their very name may be consigned to oblivion. Characters ready for duty. Assignments just finished. Right, so. Wrong army. Your army. Recruit. New unit. Not you. Not you. Why can't I? He's not on assignment. He's back. What? That's true, we can keep Wang Shu around for the assignments. Plus 50 income from peasantry. Oh, that's reason alone to keep him. He's just going to become a tax collector. From one of the most powerful men in the realm to a tax collector.
Just finished the assignment, now he's being called back. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. So. Lu Meng's on his way back. Gu Zhao Shang was the one who... No, he was... Yeah, he was going to be the other administrator. Just see if there's anyone who's going to be better at it. No, not really. And yes, you are indeed the administrator of that. Then you need to have some gear which is going to increase your resolve and your expertise. That's expertise. That's expertise and authority. That's expertise. You have no follower. Well, you want the income from peasantry follower. That would be you. And you don't care about authority anymore. Plus six resolve. Perfection. And now your population growth should be improving. Furthermore, we're going to have an assignment. Which is going to be you. Income from peasantry. We're going to be making a lot of money from the peasants. Peasants and trade. Wang Shu would have joined him as well. Son of a bitch. Oh well, he's on assignment now. Uh, yeah, some of the assignments are pretty long though. Actually, I can just cancel it. Problem solved. Recruit, new general. Wang Shu <laughs> joins the army of the really unpopular commanders. And then you are waiting for Lu Meng next turn. You'll need to do some recruitment. You came with all the troops that you had in the retinue previously. You just lost the numbers. And... I still don't have a Chancellor. It's probably going to be Lu Meng, though. Is he really going to be good for that? I feel like it should be someone else that I'm trying to encourage. Does Chancellor give experience, I wonder? Luming for Chancellor. Yeah. I just feel like we may be concentrating a bit too much power in this guy's hands. Can't have a general as a Chancellor, can you? Yeah, you can. Same way as my heir is also in the army. Even administrators can be in the army. Basically, any council position can be in the army. They just can't have two council positions. Or leave it open for now. That's true. Yeah, it's not that important yet. Actually, was there anyone else in court that I want to hire? Zushi? No. But then again, maybe. Resolve an authority, public order if they are... Prime Minister, okay, that's irrelevant. 
Vengeful, Resolve and Instinct, that's really good for fighting. Plus 8 Expertise, really good for fighting and loyal. Yeah, I just don't trust you as much as Zushi. And you do have Tempered Deflection. Actually, think Lu Meng has a lot better stats. Oh no, he has a lot more resolve. Zhu Xi would make a much better administrator than Lu Meng would. Why was Martang taken out of the army? He wasn't. Oh wait, no, Martang's still in the army. He's in the other army. Remember, I have two. So Martang is in command of my <laughs> super loyal army. And then, uh, Dong Kong Rong is in charge of the main army. And we do have a food deficit again. Which I really need to fix, because I'm actually out of reserves. I've taken too long about that. How can I fix it? Oh, money. Money fixes all problems. Next turn. Let's deal with it next turn. The path is clear. Join with us. Liu Bei wants me to invite Liu Dai. I should really learn who my father-in-law is. I think it's Liu Dai, isn't it? Yeah. This one we'll accept. Southside's like, no. Nope. up to you. You would not need fear us. You're requesting food from me for a non-aggression pact. I'm not going to give you food. I like non-aggression pacts. There needs to be a way of clicking more faster. That's a bit too pricey. Where are you? I can't actually see where you are. There's even more reason to have a non-aggression pact. Top mountain. Alright, what ancillaries do I have which I'm not really going to use, probably? Food production ancillary should go to my governor of my food area. Plus nine resolve. Ooh, Ooh interesting. No. I don't really want to pay for this one. Sorry, buddy. Denied. Time, then. Hmm. 
Loyal followers, family members, and others without a post will take seats in your courts. These court nobles may have abilities that make them good candidates for promotion as administrators or ministers. Meeting in the gardens, nobles whisper that this general's destiny is now entwined with another. Strolling through the plum garden, the general met with another and was struck by their grace. A flurry of compliments about each other's beauty was nervously exchanged, followed by laughter over the mutual attempts of flattery. Oh, is this the wife? This is the wife. Okay. It's the second time it said, maybe you should turn down the difficulty. Close. Faction developments. New faction capital. Small city. Badong. For the Han Empire. Bunch of new people of merit. Crikey. Okay. And then the meeting in the gardens, which we just saw. Right. So, first thing we wanted to do was bring in... New army. Probably Marteng. No, Lu Meng, rather. It needs to be a sentinel. Why did we get rid of Sun Shao again? Oh, because they're administrators. Yeah, Lu Meng is definitely the best choice for this. It's also a hell of a lot cheaper. Sun Shao's weak, that's why. Zhu Xi is the one I was really tempted by. Values education, admires intelligence. Admires intelligence, commands flexibility. Lu Meng is like the exact... He, he's basically sentinel version of Con Rong. It's just in terms of being a general, Zushi might be better because that massive resolve... Because then what we can do is we can make Lu Meng the Chancellor and then Zhu Xi is our general. Yeah, I'm going to make you the general. And then court Lu Meng is going to be the Chancellor. Everyone's happy. Excellent. Now I just need to build up the armies and make more money because our money income has gone away. And you, governor. Uh, what's the easy way of doing this? Sun Shao characters. Details. Your ancillary is currently population growth, which you probably don't need. What you do need is food production. And now we have a surplus. Oh, um, <clears throat> right. Now I need to build up the forces again. Can I? I can disband units. I'm not convinced about you having Saber Militia. And you can't afford any cavalry. You are going to be using Axe Band. That's totally fine. Uh, these archers are such high level. 
I wish there was a way of just upgrading them to militia. Oh, just to, sorry, upgrading them to militia. Upgrading them to regular archers. Or crossbows. These guys would be the heaviest armoured unit in my army. Ah. I'm not convinced that I can afford 120... ...upkeep. So then the question is really, archers or crossbows? Archers have much better rates of fire, but that's not necessarily a good thing. You have got longer range. These guys are 30 more. I think we're going to go with crossbows. Oh, the unit changed. I was like, why has that unit just changed? Why can't you get Fury of Baha'i? Oh, because they cost more. Yeah, they're quite significantly more expensive, in fact. Why? Faster. Oh. More morale. That's kind of irrelevant for this unit, though. Malay charge, but where's archery stats? Range damage base. 20, 20, 54, 54, 13, 25. They have tons more ammo. Less armoured. But they are extremely expensive. So no, we're going to go with the medium crossbows. That's all my economy can afford right now. You can use the top button to compare them. Oh, comparison mode. I'm used to um, Total War Warhammer where you just have the pin. You just press the pin. So much simpler. No, we're going to upgrade to crossbows. That's fine. Your army is also going to require some work, but that's going to be something for next time. I've been streaming for an hour and a half longer, and I'm rapidly losing my focus, so I'm going to end it here. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Really, this has been a fantastic stream. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that follow button so you get notifications when I'm live again in the future. If you've really enjoyed this, do consider uh, subscribing. It helps the channel out and lets me do more of this kind of content. If you want to support the channel other ways, check out my YouTube channel, which you can find at youtube.com slash Viking. The Liao Bao series is going to be upgraded. This series is going to be upgraded. Uploaded. See, this is what I mean. I'm losing it. Uh, onto YouTube as well. I have a Patreon. If you want to support the channel over there, you can do so uh, too. And then finally, I have a Discord, which you can find at this link here. I'm just going to do and see if anyone else is doing Total War Three Kingdoms right now. Uh, there are. And we shall go and throw them a raid.
<laughs> Somebody else playing as Con Rong. Kane SG. Let's see what he's up to right now. I'm just going to mute the desktop just so I can listen in. McNatorade, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Kind of looks like he's getting ready to play something else. Oh no, that's just an overlay. Yeah, let's go and raid him. We'll... <laughs> let's do this. So head on over to Kane. Say hello from Mordred Viking. If you've got access to it, just yell. Whoops. Viking raid, just like that with Mordred Viking. If you've got the horns, throw those in as well. That would be absolutely brilliant. Um, I will be back again tomorrow. My next stream will be tomorrow. I'll be kicking off at 5 p.m. British summertime. Um, and it should be really good. In fact, I'm streaming at 3. That's going to be the European Universalis multiplayer that I'm commentating on. Then I'm going to be streaming more Three Kingdoms tomorrow at 5. So come and join me for that then. Loads of you are hitting me up with the follows. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, who is this? Do, 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 do. Not right. Freaky V, Doom I, Azure Knight, and Cloud Runner. Thank you very much for the follows. Really appreciate that. Hope I see you guys again. I'll see you later. Thank you, everyone. Bye.